Hello everyone, welcome to the next weekly uh, video podcast uh, for the White Wolves Gaming Studios YouTube channel. Now, at the moment, I have just completed um, Crisis 1 and Crisis 2, both in 4K, on the um, channel. And I'm going to give Crisis a rest for a a little while while I um, focus on other game series like um, Transport Fever uh, 2 um, and uh, I'm trying to think what else I want to do. I actually want to restart um, Ark again. So I just want to um, just get that out there. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is to um, basically um, record um, Transport of Fever. That's going to only go on Facebook um, as a Facebook exclusive for the channel on Facebook. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do ARC, um, maybe The Sims 4 again, um, but I do actually have a few games up, up my sleeve that I want to finish, like Watch Dogs 2 I want to finish. Um, I want to do Watch Dogs again. And get that going throughout the the season. Um, what else? Yeah. So um, Planet Coaster is another one that I want to um, put up on Facebook um, as a Facebook and YouTube um, exclusive for the um... <coughs> shit. Sorry about that. Sorry, I was I was having a glass of wine while I was doing that, and yeah. So, with uh, the Crisis series, so one and two have now been recorded, um, both in four K, um, and basically what I want to do um, is I, I've put them on to Crisis Twos on on um, Facebook as well. I've uploaded them. Um, onto Facebook, the Facebook channel as well, so that, excuse me, um, is um, completed. I just need to upload it onto, uh, sorry, Crisis 1 needs to be uploaded onto Facebook as well, which I'll probably do in the next couple of days. Um, and then, um, as I said previously, I want to give Crisis a rest, um, primarily because I've been playing it like, Crisis um, 1 and Crisis 2 and that's the only game that I've been playing ever since um, the beginning of this year. Um, and I, don't get me wrong, I really, really enjoy the, the game and everything. Um, it's just that I want to do other games, you know. Um, but I do want to complete the trilogy um, as well. And in other news, I've just found out a couple of days ago that there's going to be a Crisis 4. Um, I'm actually shocked that this actually happened. Um, and I'm, I'm going to show a, a, a clip of it um, in a minute, um, of the actual um, reveal trailer of Crisis as well. So, without further ado, here is the trailer for Crisis 4. Now, the Crisis Remastered Trilogy, um, I'm going to show a um, snippet of what uh, the uh, remastered version looks like. If you haven't got it, I would recommend getting all three. So there's Crisis 1, Crisis 2, and Crisis 3 Remastered. I'm going to show the, the, the um, trailer for that in a minute. Um, so... Afterwards, I'm going to have a discussion about what different changes are and stuff like that. So, without further ado, here's the Crisis Trilogy Remastered Series trailer. We found something buried in the rock. This discovery could change the future of the planet. If you can hear me, you've got to get everyone off this island. These things are waking up. We have to go now! Welcome to the future, son. Welcome to the war. Please remain calm. Immediate evacuation. 
evacuation to the mainland is underway. Just so you know, Prophet, you walk slow, you play nice. Welcome to New York, version 2.0. Oh, silent and deadly. If you've been wearing a suit, we'd all be dead. You being human is what saved us. All the men who died under your command because you were just following orders. Achieved with CryEngine. So, the crisis, uh, let me have a look, crisis remastered, so the, um, I'm just trying to find the remastered edition, alright, so, the crisis remastered edition, so if I go here to Crisis 2. Actually, I'll go Crisis 1. Cool. So the um, Crisis Remastered one, um, the graphics are incredibly good. Like, um, there's um, ray tracing, there's DSLL um, stuff. So if I go into these pictures here, I'll give you a good screenshot. See, there's um, um, ambient the ambient occlusion on the actual um, ground and everything. Come on, why is this not loading? That's better. <clears throat> everything has been remapped and reshaded, and it's just incredibly good. <coughs> I actually bought all three on the Epic Store. So, so if you have a check out of that, the light actually comes through the, the palms of individual light and refraction and refraction and stuff like that. And the shadows actually work good as well. See, there's actual shadows casting off of the the game now in crisis 2 if you have a look there's reflect reflections of the the soldiers and there's light and then you know everything is so much being detailed like um um crisis remastered if Okay, yeah, okay, except all cookies, okay. So, if you have a look, this is the um, remastered one. See how the light is coming back at you and there's lens flares and stuff? I think that's the... Um, a re that's the remastered one. And this is the... Um, the the new one like all the the light is so much different you can see the difference between the gun how the the um cloak is different and the light is a lot more um better so you can see the difference in this one this is the remastered one where the lights a lot more accurate and stuff like that and this is the original of Crisis. See how the you can see the difference. The the there's a lot less blue in both um, areas. See, there's blue in this one. This is the original here, and then the remastered one has got a lot more um, thing. And there's no smoke here compared to here. Right, they've remapped basically everything. 
see the the light here in that shot and then compared to this one which is the original wow that is way better and then hang on um So that's Crisis 2, right, Crisis 3, so that's your first shot, that's your second. See, there's a lot more um, depth within this sh shot just here, and then within this one, it's different again, right? Like, there's a lot more depth in the remastered edition compared to the original Yeah, they've really cleaned this up. Can't really... Oh, yeah, I can see the difference. See, there's a lot more lens here in the original compared to here. They've really tidied it up. Wow. So... Yeah, that, I just wanted to show you guys what it actually looked like um, from what was actually going on within the um, game. So, as you can see in the trailer, uh, the remastered series has had a um, huge, huge amount of work done to it. So, we're talking... Um, ray tracing, we're talking about DSLL, uh, sorry, D DSLL, which is basically graphics versus performance and stuff like that. Um, now, here's the fun part. I want to make an announcement. Crytek, the company that actually creates, created the, um, Crisis, um, trilogy, one, two, three, and who also organised the remasters has just dropped an amazing bombshell into the crisis um ecosystem like the worlds and stuff there's going to be a fourth crisis and i want to show you that trailer right now so ladies and gentlemen hold on to your butts because we're about to see the new fourth installment of Crisis, called Crisis 4. I'm ecstatic about seeing what this game is going to be about, but it's not going to be out for a couple of years yet. Um, but I do want to actually play it. Okay. So, without further ado, I thank you for watching this very short, um, almost 15-minute video on the podcast. And I will see you again shortly. Peace out.